What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. After a long time and a lot of requests, I finally given in and decided to do a video on marine splits. Now, let me just start off by saying that marine splits are obviously very mechanically demanding. So if you have good micro, you're always gonna be able to do good splits. If you don't, you're gonna need some practice. Uh, but I do think that marine splits are very understood. A lot of players don't really know when to use marine splits and when to use other forms of micro. So yeah, and, and I, I guess it makes sense because whenever you watch streams, you see like Clem, Maru, Bjorn do like amazing marine splits. It looks fantastic. You just want to go out on the ladder and, uh, you know, jam out some splits. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to go over some theory here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start by uh, listing a lot of common mistakes that honestly almost every Terran makes, I feel like. And then basically tell you guys what a good split looks like. Now, the first thing about marine splits is, is that marine splits are, they're great, but they're kind of additional micro like for example if there's a pack of bailings here you never want to just move around in a ball and then do like a late second late last minute panic split and you know use your 400 apm because sometimes it's going to work and look fantastic but you might as well be pre-split and not need 400 apm to deal with a with a simple battle right uh and that comes to the second point is that when you have a big fight marine, marines against bailings especially a lot of people, they tend to just kind of split their units all over the place, but they forget that their units are supposed to be attacking. And it sounds really simple, but I think most of you are actually guilty of this. It's like the, the bailings are coming and instead of fighting, you're going to split your Marines like this and then the bailings come in, right? But the thing is, if you're splitting your Marines like this, they're not actually going to be attacking at all. Like if this is Ling Bane, let's say this is not just Bane's, but it's Ling Bane. These Marines are going to die very fast because they're just isolated. Like the way you want to do it is you want to have like a big concave. So you want to attack in. And then the part the Bane's attack, like let's say the Bane's are going to go for the bottom part. You want to move those back. So you don't want to move all of your Marines. You just want to move the Marines that are actually in danger. Let's see. So here you see they're going for the middle part. So you're just moving those Marines away. You see what I mean? You're not necessarily splitting all of them. You just you kind of want to follow the bailings and split around the bailings because you want your Marines to be fighting. You don't want your Marines to be running because then they're not doing damage. And that could totally work if it's pure bailing. If it's link bailing and you're really just going to be running away, it's not going to work. Then second of all, I think just regularly splitting and A moving is way better than using tricks like patrol, hold position. Uh, about hold position, in particular, I want to add a little bit on kiting micro. A lot of people, they kite by hold, hold positioning like that. But the reason why that is not good is because you want all your Marines to participate in the battle. So if you're kiting back, like let's say you have a big group and you're kiting and you're hold positioning, there's bailings here. These Marines in the back are not going to be participating in the fight. If you move back and you aim or f aim move forward to the bailings here, all your Marines are gonna try to actually end up shooting, which is way more effective than using hold position. So I would say for any tip as a standard rule, I think patrol is something that you could try out, but for the most part, any micro is just done by A moving and right clicking away. No hold position, no patrol, nothing like that. Um, so yeah, basically what a perfect split would look like is that you're always pre-split. Like you, you really never want to be running around in a ball because the bailings are going to come in and you're like, oh shit. And then one time you misclick and yeah, you lose 500 marines to one bailing. Like you never want to have that happen, right? So what the, what a perfect marine split looks like is that you're already pre-split. Um, and then you go in and then you just move the marines that are in danger like that. Like you don't really want to be moving all of them at the same time. Uh, you don't want to move around in a ball and that's the most important thing about marine splits really is you know You see them on streams and you're like wow, I'll just get 500 APM I'll do I'll do insane marine splits, but it's better to do it proper by the theory. You're already pre-split You don't move around um, Splitting on creep also is a huge death sentence. You can make it happen I have pulled off amazing splits on, on the creep and I would have felt really good about it You know, I'll show the replay but in the end, that's not really what's going to win you games. Uh, marine split is a lot about theory and a lot about using marine splits in the right way. And then if I'm, if I'm going to make some additions to this video as well, um, if you play marine tank, the micro is going to look exactly the same. Um, you're going to have, let's say you, you, have, you have two tanks there. Um, your micro is going to look exactly the same here. So you're going to seat your tanks, right, like this. And you're just going to split the Marines around. And obviously I don't have a competitive army here. But you're going to split them around them. 
and you're gonna stim a move in and then you pull back the marines that are in danger the micro with tanks looks pretty much the same the only micro that looks a bit different is when you have widow mines oh i actually accidentally deleted everything let me get some units back the only micro that looks different is with widow mines and let me show you why how the way you micro with widow mines is you just burrow them obviously and if zerg a moves uh they're gonna lose a million bailings to the widow mines so that doesn't work so the way zerg counters that is by sending three bailings forward right so the way you micro against uh or with widow mines is very simply to just so you have a big pre-split right uh no, obviously you have no, more marines normally and then you want to leave just enough marines so you can kill the bailings before they detonate the mines and that's pretty much honestly i know it's very basic micro but these tips and everything is going to make it way better for you and honestly it's most of the things you need to know obviously there are some uh additional things like for example if you have one marauder uh you would always put the marauder in the front because they will just uh they will make it so much easier if you have the marauders in the front like let's say even without the widow mines you can very basically just pull the marines back and obviously a zerg will try to follow but it will make it so much easier for you but yeah just a, a little bit of a conclusion about marine splits make sure you're always pre-split don't rely on having 500 apm to do splits it's not what you need uh, one thing i do want to add still is that a lot of people ask me like how do i practice marine splits should i go to the marine split arena or whatever but i think the actual way to practice micro is just to play an aggressive play style because marine splits like you would do them in a marine split arena uh, which is you're on a creep and there's 500 bailings rolling at you that is not a situation you should ever place yourself in a game the real micro is very often done with a few units where you just get a good trade by picking up five bailings, putting them in your medevac and flying away. And I feel like in general, we're playing an aggressive play style, doing some cheeses here and there, uh, and in general playing an aggressive bio style. That's going to help you way more with realistic micro than arenas would. So in my opinion, honestly, uh, practicing marine splits, you practice them throughout practicing the game, playing ladder, playing custom games, playing tournaments, etc. And... Yeah, an aggressive playstyle is the only thing that's really a must there. Because let's be real, if you're sitting there playing Turtle Mech, if you're sitting there playing Skytos, you're not practicing any micro, okay? I can tell you guys that. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on your way out and peace.